I finally got round to plundering the shores of gold. So if you want to follow in my footsteps, pirate, here's how. You better love it. Ahoy there you lovely lot, welcome back to a brand new video, my name is Gamester, thank you so much for joining me, I hope you're keeping safe and well. Now for those that don't know, the Shores of Gold is the last tall tale from the OG tall tales, not including A Pirate's Life. And it takes place in the top right corner of the map where it's all shrouded. Now all the other tall tales leading up to this one will allow you to build the shroud breaker. That's the red glowing thing on my ship that you can see. And that will enable you to get through the shroud without sinking and get to the island called the Shores of Gold. Now I'm not going to lie, this took me a long time to do, I think it was about an hour and a half just to work it all out and try and find everything and even for the journals I ended up looking it up because I couldn't find them all and there's 10, there's 10 journals on this instead of the normal 5 that you will get on every previous tall tale there is 10 that you need to find on this and yeah a few of them are very difficult to find. The first one's pretty easy. But don't you worry yourself about that because I'm going to take you through it step by step. Now of course it took me a while to do this and you have to do it five times if you are wanting the gold curse. Along with every other tall tale that you need to complete five times. I'm guessing after the first time you do it it's going to be relatively easy as long as you know the puzzle combinations and stuff like that when you first get there you need to find all the journals as i said but you also need to solve the the puzzles for four volts and then that will give you access to getting the key towards the gold holder bolt getting to the gold holder himself is another matter entirely but we will get to that now before we crack on I just wanted to say of course there are better guides out there than mine because I've not been playing it half as long as the people that have put their guides together. However if you want to watch me and get all the information you need from me first and foremost thank you and secondly let's get you through it step by step including all 10 journals and the combinations that I managed to work out. Really this is also like well a little bit of a stopgap in between me completing it another four times. This way I've got a record of what I did on the first one so I can do it quickly on the second, third, fourth and fifth time that I go through it, which will happen at a later date, of course. So, if you are interested, I will upload videos just like this, Monday through till Friday, every single week. I stream over on Twitch six days a week, I have a TikTok, and I host a podcast with my wonderful missus. If you want to check any of that out, I'm going to leave all the information you need in the description down below. Other than that, I would love it if you could give me a thumbs up on this video if you like it, and give me a thumbs down if you didn't, because it really is that simple. And without further ado, let's crack on with the video. Now when you first start the tall tale it will be talking to the woman that is stood opposite the tavern on Morrow's Peak. You will then get the shroud breaker to attach to your ship and you can sail to the shores of gold. When you get there the first thing you should be doing is going to the southeast side of the island on the beach. If you walk in from the beach you are going to notice the broken ship that you can see on screen right now and if you go into the captain's cabin you are going to find the first of 10 journals. Yes I said 10. I know there is normally 5 but on this tall tale there is going to be 10. Thankfully most of the ones that you have to collect are near the end of the tall tale. But there is, well, one of them which is going to be annoying to say the least. 
Now if you walk left along the beach from where you dock your boat, you're going to find a cave with the first of four volts and there's a combination that you have to input. You can start it by lighting all four of the braziers on the main table and then turn the blocks. The first one is twice, the second one is once and the fourth one is twice again. You then press the button and do the next combination which is twice for the first block, twice for the second block and three times for the fourth. Press it one more time and you will be able to enter the last combination. And it's really that simple in order to get the medallions. The last combination for this bowl is of course one, three, two. That's turning one time, next one three times and the last one two times. Once you've done them, you press the button and then the back wall will open up allowing you to pick up the first of four medallions. The reason you need them medallions will become clear later on in the video. Just pick it up and take it back to your ship. Now from your ship you should be able to see the waterfall. If you head west from that waterfall to the big rock you're going to find the second vault. The combination for this one when you get there is three times for the first block, one time for the second, two time for the third and three times for the fourth. You press the switch and there's only one combination for this one so the back will open up and give you your second of four medallions and it really is that simple. Now the third bowl is a little bit harder to find but I found it simply by going back to my ship and then following to the right hand side of it all the way along the beach. When you get to the long strip of beach then you're on the right path. Go inside the cave, light all four braziers and then start entering the combination like you've done with the previous ones. That's three turns for the first block, one turn for the second, two turns for the third and three turns for the fourth. And then you can go over to the button, press it again and there's your third medallion. Again, take the medallion back to the ship and put it on your boat because you will be moving the boat now. Now when you're back on your boat you need to take it to the north end of the island where there is a little alcove. I've speeded up the gameplay for you so you know exactly where to go. When you get there park up your boat and you can go for the fourth vault. It is a little bit more difficult to find so I'm going to mark it on the screen with a little arrow so you know which direction to go. It's as simple as that. Now if you follow the arrow there and then you take a left, the new vault is on the screen now. That's what you will see. Go up the slope that leads up to it and then you will be in the fourth vault which is the most difficult because, well, spikes. Now the way you do this is going to be slightly different. I want you to do the first combination of three turns on the first block, two turns on the second, three turns on the third and one turn on the last one before you light all the braziers. That way you can avoid the spikes for this one. When you've lit all the braziers, press the button straight away and that is combination one of two done. The next one is quite difficult. I died multiple times, so I'm gonna show you how I managed to do it. You have to do it basically by standing on the rocks at the side of each of the pillars. Then when you manage to go over there, I want you to turn the first block twice the second block twice the third block three times and the fourth block twice once you've done that of course the back wall will drop allowing you to pick up the last medallion that you need now these medallions are going to be used to be put into another little muriel in the last tomb i think you could call it and then that will give you the medallion you need to unlock the main part of this tall tale. Now before you get to that point though, you are going to need to find the next three journals. And two of them are pretty easy to find. I will show you exactly where you need to go. One of them is really, really awkward. Now if you start by going over the little puddle and going back into the water where you came from, you will see the ladder next to the tree on the right hand side. Follow it round in the path that I've just shown you on screen and you can place your first medallion. Then you just need to go back up to the south side of the island across the little bridge. This will take you to the first of the journals. Now what you're looking for is that mast right there 
and then on the left hand side you will find the book when you go up in that direction towards the south side of the map it will be on your right hand side i missed it and i had to do a 180 and come back that's why you see that angle on the screen now when you go back into the next boat where you put all of the medallions in you will find another book that will open up and reveal the sun key take the sun key back to your boat and then go past the boat onto where all the statues are that are sitting down once you get to them statues the one that's on the left hand side closest to where your boat is parked is going to be broken and then you can leave the sun key right on the steps ready for the next step however you need to get the second of the three journals i mentioned earlier if you walk opposite where you were away from the statues you will see the steps leading up to some old ruins and then once you get through the archway there will be some steps going down you will see it on screen anyway but it's really hard not to find so there you go that's where the next journal is now for the journal that took me the longest time to get what you're doing is you're trying to fire yourself out from the cannon to hit the statue which is the fourth one on the left the one that you can see with the arrow there once you do actually manage to land yourself on it which took me quite a long time to get the aiming correctly you will find that the journal is on the top of its hand it's really that simple it's a case of trial and error keep trying to keep trying to angle it correctly until you manage to land on the statue when you do you're sorted but then you've got to go back to the cannon and try and aim yourself on top of the statue where you left the sun key just like that now if you have a look there's a hole that you can climb down that will allow you to press the switch to open the door and allow you to pick up the sun key and congratulations because you're now at the last stretch of the entire tall tale all that's left now is to get through the entire dungeon and fight the boss which <laughs> let's be honest is easier said than done this is more like a gauntlet than anything else but before you go down the spiral staircase which is all broken make sure you pick up that journal right there you are going to need all the journals if you want all the commendations be careful the rumble that's all over the steps can quite easily make you slip so you end up falling to your death which i did a few times now when you come into the main cavern which is all blue lights everywhere go to the right hand side get out your lantern and you will be able to see the next journal which is right there on screen go back the way you came through the tunnel and you will see a load of spike traps take care i did die on these a couple of times they come out without any warning and yeah they'll make you jump if you're not <laughs> careful once you get through you'll be in a very dark cavern so i suggest getting out your lantern and holding it up to give you a little bit more visibility it's basically parkour in the dark just follow the masts around and when you get to the capstan make sure that you turn and basically raise the anchor because you're going to need to in order to get around the rest of the room when you get to the very end don't forget to check in the broken box that is your next journal now it's just a case of following it around and using the capstans whenever you see them to open the doors that are in your way however on the way around there you're gonna find a lot of skellies and these are not like usual skellies they are deadly accurate with their guns and it's going to take you a few attempts unless you've got someone to back you up while you do it when you get through it all though you will manage to see a room with traps all over the floor please be careful not to step on the traps go to the exit and you'll see this little scaffolding on the left hand side that's where you'll get your next journal that's number nine and then there are three switches that you need to pull in order to open up the door again be careful not to stand on any of the traps because they will kill you and it's as simple as hitting the switches and getting the door to open you are literally right near the end so 
stay strong, you're nearly there. The last journal is going to be up this hallway on the right hand side when you see the scaffolding and it's right there and you will get a commendation for getting all 10 books. This is the final step now. As soon as you lower the drawbridge, that is going to allow you access to get into the main cavern where the gold hoarder is. Now, if you want me to give you any advice on the gold hoarder, it would be as soon as he tries to spawn any of the skellies, hit him with your sword. Other than that, just keep trying to shoot him with your gun and keep at a distance, killing all the skellies that he sends after you. It will take a while and you may die a few times because he's not really that easy. But I was playing solo and I still managed to do it with only dying once. So as long as you take your time and you be methodical about it, you will be able to defeat him without that many problems. As you can see, I am just shooting him with my gun from long range and then as soon as he was trying to spawn anyone i'd run up and start hitting him with my sword until eventually he dies once he dies he will drop a skull his skull that you will need to take to the outpost at the end but that in itself is quite a task because you will get attacked well i did at least once you have actually managed to defeat him, the Pirate Lord will appear, give you a nice little pat on the back, a congratulations if you will. Pick up the skull and follow the newly opened passage on the left side of the room. It will take you back to your boat and then you can use your boat to go back to the outpost. While you're sailing, your shroud breaker will break and then there is a strong possibility you're going to get attacked like you can see on screen right now. My suggestion, just get to the outpost and sell the skull for 10 grand as well, no less. And that's it, you've done it. Congratulations on completing the tall tale. Hopefully this has been some help. And until next time, I shall catch you later.